Good morning, West Creek. Welcome to Season 6, Episode 4 of CET. This week, we want to give your full and undivided attention to your troops. Veterans Day is this Saturday, and to better know their perspectives, we ask your veteran teachers about their service in the military. Who am I here with today? Mr. Austin, and I teach English 4. Scott Luce, also known as Chief. My name is uh, First Sergeant Daryl Luckett. You're here with Coach Magnuson. Uh, Daryl Taylor. So, uh, what rank were you whenever you got out of the military? I retired as a Chief Warrant Officer set too. I, I retired out of the military as a Sergeant First Class. First Sergeant. CW4 retired. I made it to Sergeant First Class. Okay, what do you teach here at West Creek? I teach JROTC. Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, uh, let ones, primarily let fours, and sometimes the let twos. I teach JROTC let one. Uh, that's the first year JROTC students. I'm an EA, educational assistant, as well as the head coach for the baseball team. Uh, this year I'm teaching biology. And I teach English four. How long were you in the military? 24 years. I served in the military for nine years. Um, I served 21 years and a few months in the military. I was in the military for 20 years. I retired at 20 years. Uh, so I was in the military for a little over 25 years. <laughs> uh, what branch did you serve with? I was with the United States Army. I served with Active Army. Uh, the United States Army. The United States Army. Served in the United States Army. Uh, I was in the Army. What was your MOS and can you describe it? My uh, MOS all for all 20 years was a 19 Delta Cavalry Scout. It's uh, best way to describe it is reconnaissance, what they like to say, eyes and ears of the Army. Basically, we're the guys that went out before everybody else to set up a better picture of seeing what's out there enemy wise, equipment wise. Basically, that attracted me to that job because I wanted to be that guy out there in front of everybody else. When I initially enlisted in the military, my MOS at the time was called 63 Bravo. Uh, since then, I think it's changed nowadays to a different nomenclature like 91 Zulu, something of the sort. Um, basically what it is, a light wheel vehicle mechanic by description, uh, but basically I'm in the logistics field. And when, of course, when you uh, progress throughout your ranks in the military, you know, you move to different uh, positions of higher responsibilities. And uh, ASB support battalion, is where my MOS usually resides in. Yep, I was a 350 Fox. That's a all source intelligence technician, so an, an intelligence analyst. And uh, we got to take all the information that's derived, you know, from operations, analyze that, create predictive products that commanders can utilize on the ground in, in military operations. So, so they, bottom line, they, they know what the, to expect from the enemy. So my MOS was an 11 Bravo, and that is infantry. It's a combat job, so I know a lot of y'all like to play Call of Duty. So my job was actually doing those things that they do in Call of Duty. Uh, so initially, I was uh, 18 Delta, which is a Special Forces medic. Uh, and then after a number of years, I switched over to 180 Alpha, which is a Special Forces warrant officer uh, as the team medic. Uh, I was responsible for the taking care of the guys, uh, whether they were sick or injured. Uh, mostly it was supposed to be down, uh, it was supposed to be when we were deployed, but even when they were back here, if they got sick or anything like that, they would call me up. Uh, that's about it. All right, uh, what was your favorite part of the service? I'd say my favorite part was being able to go to different places, uh, meet different people, and you know, create bonds that you, you know, you'll have for the rest of your life. Uh, had a couple, but uh, from my favorite would just, you know, the relationships that you develop with your, your fellow soldiers. I mean, you know, just you count on them to, to be good at their job and do the mission because we're, we're all protecting each other. And then just, uh, they become very close, They're almost like family. And so those are lifelong relationships. And then second would be uh, is the ability to travel and see different things and be a part of events that sometimes are, you know, that will be considered historical events and have a role in that and supporting and defending the nation. My favorite part of the service is really the camaraderie between all of the soldiers. Um, you know, we, we um, normally build a really strong bond with each other and 
with that bond, you know, it becomes more so of a family and not just an extended family, more of a different family uh, between the relationships that we have. There's a couple of parts. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is obviously serving my country, you know, being a part of something bigger than myself. The other part, obviously, was meeting all the, the friendships. Um, the buddies that I still communicate with to these days, you know, going through things like that together as a, as a team, as a group, as a platoon, and also um, times too where I got to lead soldiers and be a mentor, a leader, an educator, and all that fun stuff. I, I guess it would probably be the, the, the best and the worst was uh, the deployments, uh, going, to the different, going to different places, uh, those were always enjoyable because uh, we got to do what we what we trained to do. Uh, on the downside, the deployments was also the worst part because I spent years away from my family. Uh, but yeah, that was probably the best part doing the, some of the same things that we did downrange. How long have you been in the middle? Oh, how long have you been here at West Creek? I'm going on my fourth year. I started here. Was it? Basically, almost at the end of COVID, the end of 2020, 2021, so I started here. So, okay. thanks to Coach Luce, Chief Luce, for hiring me, giving me the chance to start here as a as a baseball coach. And uh, at the time, Principal Slight hired me on as a as a substitute teacher at that time. I've been here at West Creek uh, just shy of 14 years. I came here in 2010. It's my seventh year at West Creek. Seventh year, and hopefully, it's my last year with. Uh, anyone named Wood. I've been here since August. This is my first year teaching, so it's, uh, it's been a joy so far. So this is my going to my third year. I spent three years at New Providence Middle School, uh, and then this is my third year as a teacher here at West Creek. All right, we want to say thank you to all the veterans for giving us some insight to your service. Having wrapped that up, we're going to move on to our report for the week with Mr. Frost. Take it away, Braden. Thanks guys, it's Braden Frost here with your West Creek News of the Week. Today was the Veterans Assembly and we thank all of our veterans for giving their life so we can live in this wonderful free country. We thank the JROTC program as well for putting on a great assembly and all the hard work they did throughout the week. Finally, make sure to show up for the Veterans Day Parade this Saturday. Your weather for the three day weekend looks a little bit like this. Friday looked for a 45% chance of rain with cloudy skies and a high of 58 and a low of 44. This Saturday, look for cloudy weather with a high of 59 and a low of 40. Finally, Sunday, look for the sun to be out, but don't be fooled. The temperature still remains at a high of 59 and a low of 37. Man, I hate Tennessee weather. Now, time for the sports this week. Before we talk about this week, football went to Memphis to take on the number five ranked team in Germantown last week. The final score was 47 to zero, and despite the loss, our football team had yet made another stride in their program. We are so proud of you, football team, and we look forward to seeing what you and Coach Gallowitz and his other coaches do for the upcoming years. This week, golf is doing a fundraiser. Please support us, and you can do that by scanning the QR codes around the building. We are selling beef jerky, so it's actually good food to buy, and all you have to do for this week is just go around and find them. Well, that's all we have for this week. Back to you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Braden Frost, and that puts us near the end of our show. Thank you for tuning in, and have a great Veterans Day. Have anything you want to share with the Creek? Hit up Mr. King's email at aaron.king at cmcss.net. That's CET. We are West Creek.